you guys, this is, this is a really big deal. So they're talking about changing the net metering program, which right now, if you don't understand net metering, then you, you, you don't understand solar because literally it's the net metering agreement, which is the state of California forcing SDG&E, PG&E, and SoCal Edison to literally pay solar, people who go solar, the retail rate of what normal people are being charged, electricity. The deal is getting so good for solar people that they're, they're changing it because basically they're saying that electricity is becoming unaffordable in California because of the, the all of the retail rate credits that basically if you don't go solar, you're paying for all the people who go solar to get. So they're talking about changing this and basically what they're saying is their goal is to have NEM 3.0. Right now we're already in the second generation. It used to be even better, but right now we're in the second. And they're talking about the third basically being so hopefully most people will have a 10 year payback period on their solar. Now, if you're not aware of what the current payback period is, it's between four and five years, the majority of the time. So if they're talking about changing the system, which is now gonna be a pretty much double the payback period, this is gonna be a huge blow to the industry. So look, if you get your solar before they change this, you're locked in for 20, 20 years. It's insane. Like you need to get your solar in before they change this because it, it's gonna be, you're gonna really, really regret it. Like, for real, there's two buses. One bus is being subsidized the hell out of, and the other bus, which if you don't have solar on that one, you're just paying so much more money than you need to because you didn't take advantage of something that literally would save you money on day one if you did.